Hello everybody, it's me. Well, in this video we're going to demonstrate some um, new old stock Thermomatic X rapid start ballasts. It's not in that fixture. They're set up over here. Got two of them wired together to come on together. This is also a basic wiring lesson. I was asked by uh, somebody that left a comment on one of my other videos how to wire multiple banks of fixtures together. Well, it's very, very easy. Each ballast has a black wire for the hot and a white wire for the neutral. And those are the ones you connect. You group your hots together, your black wires together, and those attach to the hot hot lead from your power source and you group your neutrals together and those attach to the uh, neutral from your power source like so this is just a lamp cord this is just temporary demonstration in a proper circuit they would there would be a, a black wire and a white wire for the power supply well anyway these ballasts are 30 years old and are new old stock. You'll notice that there aren't any spliced wires here either because these are long lead ballasts, unlike the short lead magnetic ballasts that are made today because the government has declared war on magnetic ballasts, wanting to make them <clears throat> illegal, which I disagree with mainly because most electronic ballasts are very boring and how many electronic ballasts will you see working 30 years later after they were made well anyway here goes the startup I'm using GE lamps because they always produce the best startup flicker. I have daylights on the left ballast and cool whites on the on the right ballast. And we get that awesome delay effect when one set starts up faster than the other. Because the cool whites usually take take longer to start than the than the daylights do. It's not colors, it's just the way the lamps are made. One more startup. Enjoy.